So in the previous tutorial, we worked on the launch request handler. So let's proceed further from here. So I'm just going to open enus.json file. So right here, if you see, we have given the sample utterances. For example, please turn on the light. So what should happen uh, when I say, please turn on the light? So basically this sample utterance is corresponding to a particular intent and that intent is toggle intent. So if I take you uh, to the UI, so right here, if you see, we have created one intent with the name toggle intent. And if we go inside the toggle intent, uh, all the utterances are corresponding to the toggle intent. So uh, basically we need to take some action uh, when we say please turn on the light and to take that action we need to work on the toggle intent. Now let's go to the index.js. Scroll it down. So at the bottom uh, all the handlers are defined and hello world intent handler it's one of the handlers so i'm just going to rename it to uh, toggle intent handler uh, copy this just go up and right here where uh, hello world intent handler is defined just rename this to toggle intent handler now, if you see inside the code, it's making a comparison with the intent. And here, the intent which it has defined is the hello world intent. But in our case, the actual intent name is toggle intent. So just copy this and replace it with the toggle intent. So now, what would happen if the user says, please turn on the light this condition uh, will be true and this particular handle will be called so let's say speak out is equal to your wish my command turning on the light so now let's test this okay so our deployment is done let's test it so since we are in the testing environment, we don't need to say Alexa. Okay, so now let's test our program here. Ask magic man. <coughs> Ask magic man to turn on the light. You wish my command. Turning on the light. You wish my command. Turning on the light. Uh, there is some problem going on with the uh, testing environment. But if you see here, uh, when I say ask magic man to turn on the light, uh, response is your wish my command turning on the light. And similar way, when I say ask magic man to turn off the light, it again says your wish my command turning on the light. So we need to change uh, this particular response. Uh, so right here, I'm just going to get the parameter value. So if you see what I've done is I have taken a variable toggle val and uh, I'm using handler input, which is this one dot request envelope dot request dot intent dot slots dot toggle slot dot value. So if you see here uh, in the JSON file, so we have intents inside the intents uh, we have slots and slot has a name toggle slot so similar thing we are doing here is uh, intent we are getting from the request then we are saying intent dot slots dot toggle slot which is the name of our slot dot value so now we need to use this particular value 
Okay, so let's uh, make use of this value. So your wish my command turning, let's close it here, a plus sign, variable, plus sign, and then a single quote here. Okay, so now let's test it. So I'm quickly gonna uh, deploy it again. Ask magic man to turn on the light. You wish my command, turning on the light. Ask magic man to turn off the light. You wish my command, turning off the light. So if you see here, uh, it's getting the right parameter. Uh, when we say on, it's taking on. When we say off, it is taking off. Let's try something else. Ask magic man to turn blue the light. Sorry, something went wrong. Ask magic man to turn blue the light. You wish my command, turning blue the light. So whatever we are saying, it's actually taking it as a parameter and all we need to do is we need to compare that parameter. Request you to please like my video and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.